This video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at department programming on the XEA213 register. Um, so I'll just run through a couple of basics on the machine first of all. Obviously when you program these, um, the departments are really important even though you don't use them that often. So the buttons here numbered 1 to 70 are PLUs, so they're your individual products which you'll program to be your pint of Carlin or your cheeseburger or whatever and they'll have a description and a price. When you set up a PLU, you must assign it to a department and it's the departments that appear on your main end of day Z reports and it's the departments that control any tax or VAT settings on the reports. So it's crucial to make sure your departments are programmed correctly. Um, the other thing, on the when you're in the reg mode, you've also got open department buttons up here which you can inhibit, um, but they can be useful for open sales. But a key thing to remember is You've got up to 99 departments on the register um, and they, you group them exactly as you would want them to do. So they could be alcohol sales, soft drinks, food, non-VAT, VAT, whatever you want them to be. But the key thing to remember is if you use departments 1 to 6 as your PLU groupings, when you sell items through these open department buttons, you've got to make sure that you're selling them through correctly. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is when the machines out the box for the first time like my machine is the departments have preset VAT codes so departments 1 to 10 are preset to VAT rate 1 and departments 11 to 20 are preset to VAT rate 2 departments 21 to 99 are then at VAT rate 1 and department 21 is actually a negative as default now on a previous video I've set up the VAT rates on this machine so my VAT rate 1 is 5% my VAT rate 2 is 20% you don't have to follow the preset department VAT rates, but I'm going to in this video uh, just to make it a bit quicker. So I've got my three departments I'm going to set up. I've got alcohol, which I'm going to make department 11. I've got soft drinks and I've got food. And I'll pick those three, obviously, because they're quite topical at the moment with the hospitality VAT rate cut, but also because I'll program them slightly differently. So I'll be able to cover everything that's shown in the manual in one video. If you've got access to the manual then page 18, 17, 18 and 19 is where I'm getting this information from. Um, so yeah let's start. So the first thing to do is to turn the key round to the PGM position. It'll come up and say depending on what you do next is what will affect what happens next. So I'm going to program uh, the alcohol department first which is number 11 so I don't have a department number 11 button to press so I simply type in 11 and then hit the department hash key then it comes up with the confirms what department I'm looking at and then it comes up with enter the double zero key which means I can then enter the text description for this department so to do this you need the alpha keyboard underneath So my department 11 is going to be alcohol. So once you've typed in your description and you're happy with it, you then press the subtotal button. Now you enter the price if that's appropriate for this department. I'm not using this button as a preset, I'm using it as a grouping of sales so there is no price so I can skip that by pressing ST which is just, you can't quite see it on the video can you? Just move the camera, yeah there you go, there's subtotal. Then you've got department entry type. Um, so this is either inhibited, preset, open or open and preset. Um, because of the way I'm using departments on this machine, um, I'm going to have it as open. So I press subtotal. If I wanted to toggle between them, you press the double zero button. So you've got preset open and preset, inhibited or open. I'm happy with open so subtotal to skip and then now this is the crucial bit so this is department 11 it's my alcohol department and on my machine I've set up VAT rate 1 to 5% and VAT rate 2 to 20% so alcohol sales are currently at 20% so I've got to make sure I'm on VAT rate 2 so tax 1 set to no is correct so I hit subtotal Tax 2 is set to yes, which is correct. Tax 3 should be no. Tax 4 should be no. 
register type is positive or negative so it should just be normal which is fine for us or you could have sorry that is normal or single item cash sale but we don't want that so you just press ST sign is positive which is correct and then you can limit the amount of digits that you were running through this department but that would only really be relevant if you were having the department as a button although you can still sell items through um, departments that don't have buttons but what I'll probably do is leave that at the default and then cover that in a separate video if that becomes a problem for you um, so we'll skip that for now and then that's that department programmed press TLN TL to save and you get a little printout confirming alcohol department 11 tax rate 2 um, so now what we'll do is we'll program the other two departments before we go back to the reg mode to test them so I'm going to program number one to be soft drinks so keys in the PGM position I should just be able to press the department button because this says department one has its own button where is it yep there we go comes up and says double zero so you press double zero and then type in the text you want to appear for your department it, yours if you're doing this for the first time yours will come up with the existing description say something like department zero one I've already deleted mine when I was having a um, trial run with it so we're going to call this one soft drinks again once you're happy with your description it's ST price is irrelevant entry type is open as before tax one so this one we want tax one sent to yes because it's a soft drinks department and because I've picked department one it pre it defaults to um, tax one so that's set to yes so ST to confirm and all the other taxes should be no register type normal sign positive limit digits we'll cover that in a different video then it jumps straight on to department two which we're going to program to be food so you press double zero type in the description I use the space button to get rid of any extras ST to save no price department entry type is open tax one because it's food is set to yes I'll just show you I'll show you in a different department how to change the tax rates but I'll just program this one correctly okay so we're now going to set department 3 to be wine we'll just randomly add this one in just so I can show you how to um, change the description and change the tax rate so we've got the description in there price no price entry type is open tax one I want this one to be tax rate 2 so I need to change tax one to be no so press double zero toggles to no which I'm happy with and then tax two I want to change to yes so double zero is like your toggle button between yes and no subtotal subtotal on the others because they'll all be set to no register type normal sign positive limit digits subtotal and then basically you repeat that procedure for each of the departments that you're um, programming up and then you press total when you're done you get a printout confirming so because I did alcohol first ahead of the others that's up here department 11 alcohol tax rate 2 um, soft drinks department 1 tax rate 1 food department 2 tax rate 1 and then wine tax rate 2 is department 3 um, so the process is the same this so is the only things you're really changing if you if you program a machine like I'm programming it is the description and then your tax rates so you got to you don't have to set up tax on the machine so you don't have to set tax at 20% and 5% but it's crucial that you use the tax rates to make sure that you're reporting correctly so you've got all your alcohol in one tax rate all your food sales in another and then soft drinks in another um, just so that it's all it's all clear your accountant or yourself can then split the VAT out at a later day if you want to set the VAT up that absolutely your prerogative to do that check out my other video where I show you how to do that in my next video to this one I'm going to move on to the PLU programming so that's 
we've done the department program which is like the structure we've done the tax program which is more of the structure of the machine we're now going to make it usable by programming the individual products so that video should be appearing on screen now so you're welcome to watch that you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching